I think, uh, for example, on this connecting up of, of, of efficiency uh, um, and um, personalization agendas, um, I think there is uh, a win win to be gotten there. And I think the task is to help people to see that the means that they thought were the best to achieve efficiency may well not be, uh, and that there is an amazing possibility of a win win uh, between. Um, approaches to uh, public services uh, that individualise and personalise things uh, for people and that actually uh, um, are very cost effective as well. Um, I, and I, I think that, that, that there's a growing impulse in many people and places to find that win, uh, that win-win. Um, I, I had a conversation with a director of social services recently, a, a youngish director of social services not too far from here, who um, saw herself as on the Titanic heading towards the iceberg. Uh, and um, she, up until quite recently, couldn't see any way of changing course. And, and the, the, the crash that she saw was uh, um, larger numbers of people requiring service without a commensurate increase in the resources available, leading to smaller and smaller numbers of people actually uh, getting through eligibility criteria and receiving some service. And... Um, only in uh, very difficult and crisis circumstances, and, and, a, and a substantial number of people left to fend for themselves. Um, and I think that um, um, the various tools, technologies, and approaches around the personalization agenda have been appearing in our field still quite recently um, are, are starting uh, to help people like her to think there may be uh, an alternative course. We may not need to hit the iceberg. We, we might be able to. Um, achieve uh, a transformation of society, actually, uh, and, and that these approaches um, need not to, not to be restricted uh, to the narrow field of social care, um, but that, um, that are potentially applicable across all public services.